And should I leave this on or take this off? And is it cute? A little weird, a little cute. What's up guys? Welcome back. Okay, so I wanted to film a video for you guys because one of the biggest questions I get asked in life is like, how do you travel so much? Do you have any travel tips? Do you have any travel hacks? Um, blah, blah, blah. So I decided I should just go ahead and film a video about it. Also, I'm just bored. So I'm in the airport. I hope you could hear me. I'm trying to not talk too loud and disturb all the people that are napping over here. This is my little filming office space. <laughs> First, let's talk about booking cheap flights. The best place to book cheap flights is really either on Google Flights or Kiwi.com if you're flexible. You can literally just go on Kiwi and search like a whole area of the world and it'll find you the cheapest way into that destination. So if you're super flexible, then Kiwi is a really good thing. If you're like super on a budget and you're very flexible, you can literally filter it by like the cheapest, which could end up being the longest path. So instead of getting somewhere in like eight or nine hours, it might end up taking like two days, but you could have like a day or two layover in a really cool city, which is just like another mini trip in between if you kind of want to look at it that way. Okay, I don't know why this is so hard for me to explain in this video, but basically what I'm trying to say is you can fly into a bigger airport that's closer to you and then fly from a bigger airport to another bigger airport with like the further destination, wherever you're trying to go, and it'll be a lot cheaper that way. But Google Flights is also very good as well. I feel like I find a lot of my flights on Google. That's what I usually use. Always, always, always use private browsing mode whenever you're searching for your flights. I can't tell you how many times that I've been about to book something and then as soon as you're going to check out, then the computer's like raised the price like $10 or so. So literally just exit off of it and get back onto another private browser and it's gonna be like the same cheap price again. I usually book flights out about four weeks to six weeks. That's when they're usually the cheapest I find. But also if you're like wanting something last minute, a lot of the times they'll have really cheap flights like a couple of days before departure because they're trying to like sell out those last few tickets. I literally flew once from Paris to Montreal for like $170. Okay, so the third little hack is about when you're actually in the airport. Everybody kind of knows this, but I'm just going to say it. Water is like ridiculously overpriced, right? Don't ever, 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 ever pay for it. So pretty much no matter where you are, airports are going to have a Starbucks. So literally just go up to the Starbucks counter and ask them for an ice water and they'll give it to you for free. Not only that, but since you can't get like a water bottle past security, you can bring an empty water bottle and then you can fill it up somewhere. Like a lot of places have those water bottle things over the water fountains that you can fill up with filtered water. Unless you like sparkling, then you're out of luck. But speaking of Starbucks, if you use the app, to get rewards save up your rewards to use at the airport if you know that you're going to be flying because i once got like a venti something latte for it was a 14 dollars drink and i got it for free because it was time for my reward so definitely use that too number four is to just google your airport and like familiarize yourself with it a lot of airports have like hidden gyms that can make your layovers way more comfortable and fly by so you can usually find like a blog post of the airport that people kind of go into detail about everything there or sometimes you can just google the actual airport's webpage. I once found a yoga studio in Chicago. I found a yoga studio in Dallas too. Right now I'm sitting in like a free lounge in Dallas Fort Worth airport but it's like really nice and I feel like not a lot of people even realize that they can come up here because there's like five people up here right now. It has a piano <laughs> and then some airports even have places that you can like take showers or take a nap for free. People just don't realize that a lot of the services that are offered are actually free. The fifth airport hack that I have for you guys is to give up your seat. You can actually offer your seat to someone on standby and usually the airport will reward you for your good Samaritanship. A word. I once was about to get on a flight and this kid was on standby and they weren't going to let him on and he looked so scared. So, I mean, not kid kid, obviously, but he was a young guy and he looked so scared. So I was like, okay, like he needs to get on the next flight. So I was just like, he can have my seat. And the airline, it was American Airlines, they literally gave me a $700 flight voucher and put me on the next flight that left in an hour. But I feel like in general, airlines will usually take care of you. 
Um, once they set me up in this like super nice luxury hotel that had weighted blankets and lavender oil to help me fall asleep because my flight was delayed and it was really late at night. So, yeah, so that is all for my travel hacks. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below before you go, and I'll see y'all in a future video. It's nap time. Peace. I really like it when we're vibing. I'm in another city.